These are the issues that get the parents around Australia talking and here to tackle today's hot topics are Danielle Miller, Troy Jones and Lisa Hensley. Good morning, guys. Hi, Good morning. Look, First up, it's been revealed that kids up to six months old can understand what we mean as parents when we say things, including naughty words. Have a look. First, honey, we need to talk about something. It's about that word you said this morning. What word? You know, the one that starts with F. Flower. No. Fruit. No. If she doesn't remember it, we shouldn't remind her. Oh, well, she said it three times. Oh, you mean f Pam, leave the room. <laughs> I, I, I'm terrible. This That's is gonna my be, life. Is this your Lisa? Because you've talked to your kids, Lisa, since day one. Yeah, so. and, and the swearing that goes on is frightening because I haven't sworn to them, so I don't know where they get it, but it's a great They're part what. sailor. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, I've never sworn in my life, David, because okay. I'm perfect. <laughs> but um, I did get some great advice right from the word go. I used to speak to my kids from when they were first born. I'm changing your nappy and trying to keep everything kind of really audible for them. But the swearing is hilarious when you hear them do it in front of friends. I don't your know friends. About, what do you think, Danielle? Oh, I don't know about the swearing, but if they can understand us, then why don't they sleep? Because the number of times <laughs> that I ask my little girl, please go to sleep, yeah. I'm begging you to go to sleep. So if they can understand, they're very defiant from a very young age. Just give her that new book which has swearing in it. Maybe she'll understand <laughs> a bit more. Troy, what do you think? I see, I see a double-sided coin here. I see that there's an opportunity for blokes because most dads wait until, or they have the idea of, I'll wait till kids three or they yeah. can kick a footy or they yeah. can go swimming. Perfect example, these kids are awake and they're paying attention as a dad. Get in, get involved, start being funny and tell your jokes and, and, have, and be a good dad. Don't You're going to get daddy a beer. And you know what? And hold it. That's yeah, right. Yeah, that's and also, right. on a serious side, it just shows you how you've got to be really, um, you've got to be aware of not to fight with each other and have a really disruptive house because if they're understanding what we're saying, and they are, they mightn't be able to speak, they're going to pick up on the kind of really bad vibe if mm. there's a lot of anger and stuff. That is true. You've got to be very yeah. aware when they're around you, because they, they are, they're like sponges. sponges. They learn so I wonder much, what they, they make of all the goo goo ga ga talk. I don't believe I didn't in that. Do that. No, I didn't, I didn't do, that do that. Did you Did do you? that, Troy? No, mate, I didn't. I, I think uh, I, no, I can I talk know. underwater at the best of times, so I didn't have the issue of wondering what to say. I, I yeah. just keep talking and talking, and they say, Dad, just shut up. That's mm -hmm. the first word I think Matilda oh, said. Oh, we're not allowed to say shut up because we've got this thing Woody and Buzz say shut up. I had to get rid of Toy Story 1. There's just shut up through the whole thing. Really? Oh yeah. my God, well, yeah. I have to look at that. Moving along, new studies show <laughs> controlling parents are more likely to raise naughty, rebellious mm. kids. Now, Danielle, do you agree with this? I mean, I well, I guess I had my grandmother's very strict, but I did kind of rebel. Yeah, I think so. Look, they may well be obedient in front of us in our presence but they don't have those self-management skills that they really need to make the right choices when they're not with us. I was a teacher for many years and teachers that are very authoritarian they may have a quiet classroom but if they're not in the room no work gets oh, done. Oh it's anarchy. Yeah absolutely. Once they left it was like the dusters were being chucked yeah. at each other and, and I chalk. often say to parents you know think <laughs> about when you were at school teachers that were too strict you didn't really respect you only did what you were told because you were fearful teachers that tried to be your best friend were a bit of a joke teachers that were firm but fair, set boundaries, that's the way to go. Yeah. Troy, you were a bad boy, weren't you? Mate, I, I was actually You would have been a goody-goody. No, goody. I, oh, I can see it, you've got goody-goody. Goody. Goody. I, I, was, I was the teacher's pet, but I tell you, I reckon that the trick to being an Australian, if I can start the music playing... Yeah, please tell us is, now, we'll get it uh, going I think is to have a healthy disrespect for authority. I reckon mm. that's the entire that. summary of being an Australian. Mm. It's the think, convict nature. Yeah, and I think it's easy as a parent <laughs> to give it the hardcore thing and be tough and sort of, like you say, when it's, it's easy when my kids are quiet and mm. my kids are good because they're quiet. Yeah. Why is good equal quiet? And why does good Amen. equal quiet? I, I, think, I think the question is something else because I think it's very hard sometimes not to be controlling. If we're mm. all really honest to ourselves. You've still got to have, yeah. have some structure. You've got the discipline, but Fair also but there are controlling parents that want their children to do really well. And look, We've got it all in us. My kid started swimming the other day. I was there wanting him to do the freestyle as he's sinking, you know, sort of mm. trying to grip the seat. Doing saying, the Laurie Lawrence Don't the be pool. controlling, Lisa. Reading Just a poem. Exactly. <laughs> Come on, kid. Yeah. But, you know, I think it's in our natures to all be controlling. So it's one of the hardest things I find about parenting is to let that little person develop by itself. And to let them have that freedom, not to be a tiger mother, to give them the scope to make yeah. mistakes. And let them fall too. I mean, that's a big thing with parenting. I think a dad will be someone who pushes them a bit past. Pushes them over. I push them over, yeah. <laughs> Knocks them over. Um, but I think that, that let them fall and let them learn that where mm. the edge of the balance is is something we don't do these days. That is mm. true. Finally, a Canberra father has narrowly avoided a conviction after being found guilty in court for hitting his teenage son with a wooden spoon during an argument over homework. Now, listen, I, I used to hide. 
the wooden spoons in my house when I was a kid. I was petrified. What about you, Liz? I think this is so ridiculous. I'm sorry. My mother, in fact, all my friends' parents would all be in jail now. Yeah. Because we got the wooden spoon. I'm, I'm going to tread a very fine line here. I don't use corporal punishment in my home and I don't smack. But I tell you what, there are quite a few 15-year-olds out there that probably need a bit of a wooden spoon yeah. over the bottom. See, I, I'm, a, yeah. I'm totally against it. I reckon um, in what social environment in the world... If we were having an argument or something, would it be socially acceptable for me to pull a spoon out of my pocket? A, why do you have a spoon in your pocket? But B, <laughs> if I whacked you over the head, I'd end up in jail. I think yeah. because kids can't vote and because kids don't get listened to much by well, you adults, never hit by your I think parents? what happens is that we parents own their kids. Parents own their kids, so therefore they can hit them or do whatever. Right. I think it should be outlawed. Yeah. I think they should be in trouble. I think it should, okay, this guy should have been... You know, reprimanded more yeah. than being in the paper. He should go on Danielle, yeah, really quickly, what do you I think? I agree, absolutely. And particularly because he's a teenage son, at what age do you stop hitting? Mm. Often young people will say to me, look, you know, Dad beat me up last night. Dad might think he's disciplining. Usually when we hit, it's because we're stressed and emotional. It's not because we're responding reasonably to the behaviour. And yes, we all survived getting whacked. Yeah, we Doesn't all Doesn't mean it. it was the right thing, though. And I know that in the past when I've given my children a tap, I do feel really awful afterwards you and I know that bad. it's not the right thing to do. Well, my son's only 20 months and he's going to be a giant and I'm not touching him. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Danielle, Troy and Lisa. Now here's Janie with something.